Hi there, I'm Dane and welcome to my channel where we explore everything software development. In this video, we're going to do an introduction into one of the ways that we can report on our Cypress and Cucumber tests. While you're watching the video, if you enjoy the content, please hit the like button. And if you want to see more videos like this, please consider subscribing. Okay, if you can remember, we are using the Cypress Cucumber preprocessor plugin as part of the Learn Cypress Cucumber series that I um, have been running on YouTube. If we go down to the menu here, we can find a section that says output. Because when we run our tests, we need to get some output from the test runner that we can use to generate some reports. And as we can see here, it says to add this information to the config. So we're gonna grab that. And we're going to go to the package JSON file, and we can see here we are at the config. We are just going to drop that right in there, and let's go through. So generate true. That means give us some JSON for the cucumber tests. Output folder. This is where that JSON should go. Is there any prefix we want on the on each file, and any suffix that we want each file? These three options are actually set to the default value, so we can get rid of them and just keep the generate true. That will give us some output. So let's run the test. So first thing we need to do is run the application. And then we open a new terminal and we can run the test, npm run sci open. Cypress will open up. Here it is. And then we can run the integration test that we have. This is the Cypress runner window. And there we go. We can see 15 tests ran and they all passed. So we can close this and close Cypress and close that. Now we can see inside the Cypress folder, there's a Cucumber JSON folder. And inside there, there's all these JSON files. Have all of the output from the test runs. What we need to do now is we need to take that output and we need to generate a report out of it. And we're going to be using this module, multiple Cucumber HTML reporter. So if we scroll down, we can see some screenshots of what the reports look like. But we wanna grab this line here to install the module in our project. And that will take just a second. Then if we keep scrolling down, we can see that there's an example script here as to what we might use to run this reporter. So let's grab that. And inside the Cypress folder, we're gonna make a new file called report.js. And we'll put that script in there. And let's read through it. So first thing we're requiring in the multiple Cucumber HTML reporter module, then on that module, there's a generate function. We call that generate function with these options. Now this metadata and custom data sections, we're going to remove for the moment and we'll come back to that in another video. So first thing is JSON directory. This is where the report generator can find your Cucumber JSON files. So that is in the current directory and then Cypress slash Cucumber hyphen JSON. And then report path is where we want to output the report. And we're gonna output the report in Cypress slash Cucumber report. And we'll save that file. That's good. Now we need a way to run this. So we're gonna go back to the package JSON and go up to our script section. And we're going to add another script called sci colon report, which is going to run use node to run our report file. So slash cypress slash report.js. And we'll save that. So because we already have a cucumber JSON folder with some content in there, we can run our script. So npm run sci colon report. And we can see multiple Cucumber HTML report was generated in this folder. And we can see it right here. 
There's some assets, some features, and index HTML file. So let's have a look at what that might look like. And we want to open up our web browser full screen. And I'm going to open up that index HTML file in our web browser here. So we can see that there were seven features that ran and they all passed, 15 scenarios that ran and they all passed. We scroll down a bit, we can see the overview of the features. So add a to do, clear all completed to do's, so on and so forth. We can see the status, they all passed. We can see the tags that were attached to these uh, uh, features. There were none on, on these ones. We can see a whole heap of question marks here and that's at metadata and custom data. We'll come back to this in another video and to how we can actually configure this. Let's click on add a to do. We can see there are two scenarios. They both passed. Scenario one here, scenario two here. So let's expand scenario one. Click this little drop down arrow and we can actually read the, the test scenario and see each step that passed. Now, if our test failed for some reason, we would be able to see those failures in the report here as well. So that's all there is to generating a report with Cypress Cucumber preprocessor and multiple Cucumber HTML reporter. What we could do with this uh, setup is run this report in our continuous integration pipeline. And then we would have a nice uh, visually appealing report on our tests, which ones pass, which ones failed, and we can dig into why they failed. So thanks for watching this intro, and we're going to dig into more of the options in future videos. If you liked what you saw here today, and would like to see more of it and maybe some uh, live interaction, you can come and check me out at twitch.tv slash daneharnett. And if you want to contact me, you can tweet at me at twitter.com slash daneharnett. Any of the links and resources to all the modules will be down in the description below. And if you have any comments, questions, or suggestions for future videos, please drop them in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and catch you in the next one.